today is 24th of august 2020 we will continue on decision tree analysis okay so first we have already known what is decision tree and why it works now today we'll discuss about different steps first we will write down the steps which are involved in decision tree analysis your first step again the connection is cut so steps are identify the decision points and alternative courses of actions what are the decisions and what are decision alternatives and what are the events that may occur that is what we will first find out then each decision point in each decision point determine the probability and payoff associated with each course of action number 3 commencing from extreme right extreme right we will start from extreme right compute the expected payoffs which again we call them emv for each course of action okay number 4 choose the correct course of action which is correct which yields the best payoff when you talk about cost we go for the minimum one when we talk about the profit we go for the maximum one that's why we are calling it best not maximum or not minimum so when it is we will talk about profit then we take the maximum when we talk about cost we take the minimum this is how the best differs next step proceed backward or leftward then repeat those steps until the first decision point is reached number 7 now looking at the whole tree from beginning to end different possible outcomes to be judged and proper path of decision to be selected when we select all the 
correct best uh, giving uh, results then you get the proper path so these are the steps involved as we have learned previous class now today we will again have some example and we will follow these steps so what are the advantages we will learn first advantages of decision tree the advantages are it structures the decision process and structures the decision process in a systematic and sequential manner number 2 the decision maker get to choose what he want to decide he has all the desirable or all the possible i mean desirable and or undesirable all possible outcomes he can examine so not he there may be she also i am sorry the decision maker may watch not watch it may be examine both desirable and undesirable outcome number 3 it is easy clear manner is used and the method is illustrated well illustrated <clears throat> number 4 displays logical relationships between parts of complex decision at its at as it can handle you know several uh, simultaneous decisions all together number 5 it specially useful in situations wherein the initial decision and its outcome affects the subsequent decisions so it can be applied in various fields not every field we'll discuss on that it can be applied on various fields such as introduction of a new product marketing make and buy decisions investment decision etc but there are some limitations also and we have to discuss them because limitations are very very important now this becomes complex as the branches a number of branches actually number of branches in case so if you have several number of decision alternatives then it will become very very complex
Now it does not concern the difficulty of the job. It only gives you the view about the money. But if you are uh, applying this in mining field, if you are applying this in you know, promoting field or uh, you, are, you are facing some bribing issue, you are facing some you know, political uh, party's agenda, then this done, does not get included in maths and that's why you cannot you know, put it in the analysis. Buste bala mana ko tu mana ko bolo? Ada. Kansa. Second point, sir. Second point. Second point. It concerns the difficulty of the job. That means, suppose to lift some heavy machineries to be required on the top of a building. So that difficulty, this analysis cannot understand. Suppose you need to bribe you know, some uh, corrupt police, traffic police, or you need to uh, handle some political pressures. So that type of difficulties, this analysis does not understand. These understand only mathematics and costs. It understands only cost associated with it. It does not concern about the safety. It does, does not concern about the complexity. So that's why everywhere it cannot be used. It just looks at the problem on only monetary view. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oh, sir. Uh -huh. Advantages fourth one display logical relationship between parts of complex decision. We have parts of complex decision means. Jokhon amra example solve korbo. Tokhon ami ei question ta tomoke example hisebe bujhe debo. Mutation is roots of branches income. Roots of branches income bolte. Root kon point ta bolcho? The limitation of first one become complex on the roots of the roots na, number number branch. number of branches increases yes. becomes okay. complex as the number of branches increases the much you have decision alternatives the much you have options the bigger the problem becomes and the bigger the complexity arrives okay so let us Solve a problem. This is not still complex, but it is it is a little complex than the previous one. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with a problem now. There is a person X who had to decide the person X who have to decide whether drill or not to drill in his farm. He require water, but he he may drill well or he may not drill well. That is his choice. There are some uh, options in front of him and he had to decide whether to drill or not to drill. Now, I am writing it short so that you can understand. Drill and no drill. This is the option. If he do not drill, then his cost is 18,000 for 5 years. He buys water from neighbor and his cost is 18,000. Okay. 
if he drills then again there are two options only 40% have struck water and 60% fails to find water okay the drill is 200 feet the depth is 200 feet and 40% gets success 60% fails okay now those who are uh, for uh, drills and fails to get water they again have only 20% success and 80% fails to get water again drills so drills 50 feet more then 20% gets success 80% fails and drill cost is 50 rupees per foot okay now this is the problem this problem is given in the book in a typed format but I am giving you as a short note version whether you, you just be able to understand because I cannot write a you know 10 line story here it's very difficult I can, uh, name the page name of the yeah uh, it is in uh, yeah, it is Hiragupta, page number 824. Example 9.9, 2.2. Just look at the problem. Those who don't have book, just look at the problem. You will try to understand. He has to decide from these two decisions, whether to drill or not to drill. If he do not drill, then he have to buy water for five year at a cost of 18,000 total cost if he drills 200 feet 40 percent of the people in that village get success 60 percent does not get water if those who does not get water at 200 feet if they drill more 50 feet, 50 foot then only 20 percent of them gets water and 80 percent does not get water so again they have to buy so their drilling cost goes waste and they have to buy uh, from neighbor at a cost of 18,000 for 5 years. That is the scenario. Is the scenario clear to everybody? Now there are questions. If you have any questions, you can ask. Question number 1. Should he drill up to 200 feet? Number B or number 2, question number 2. If water is not struck at 200 feet, Should he drill 50 feet more? And third question Should he continue to buy water from neighbor? So these three questions basically gives you only one question what will be the path of the decision so for looking at the problem we will go to step number one in step number one it is said 
identify each decision alternatives and courses of actions then assign probabilities and find out desired emv for each decision alternative so we will do only that so first of all we have to draw the diagram decision tree diagram diagram to be drawn from left to right and the analysis should be done on right to left okay now first of all we have a decision node decision nodes are rectangular square from here there are two options one option we have a chance node we call it a and represent it by a circle here what happens drills 200 feet 50 per feet so cost is 10,000 second option do not drill cost 18,000 okay from this chance node there are two probabilities water struck if water is struck then there is no cost so we will write 0 and probability is 0 0.4 and here no water that is the second option so here again there will be a decision node no water have probability 0 0.6 now this is decision node why this is decision node because now we have to decide whether we have to drill more or not Goodbye. We have two options, we can choose any one. So, again, option is drill 50 foot more, and here do not drill and buy water from 18,000. Now, if it drills 50 foot more, then the cost is again here 2500. Now, there will be a chance node in circle. Here, the options is water struck. So, no cost is there. And probability? 0.2 and here no water found it has probability 0.8 again you, you have to buy from neighbor so cost 18,000 okay so this is the decision tree what we have made Okay. Have you understood how we have made the decision tree? Yes, sir. So you have to choose carefully when you take a decision node, when you have to take a chance node or event node. You have to write down all the cost for each decision node. For each decision, you have to write the cost. And for each chance node also, you have to write the cost. And you have to write the probabilities at the end of the chance node. So here A and B are the chance node. And what happens? The probability is written here 0 0.4, 0 0.6, here 0 0.2, 0 0.8. So this is how you must draw the tree. Okay.
now we have to go on solving it okay so now if you want to solve it we have to now hold back or we have to analyze from the right to left so most right node is b you will find out the emv of node b so we will write emv er b niche thikena sir karon amra right theke nebo procedure e mone koro ki bolechilam this is a fold back process analysis starts from the right decision tree is drawn from left but analysis starts from right so event node of b just like in previous class we have done average of this to 0.8 into 0 plus 0.8 into 18000 so we get here the cost 14400 now we will go backward or leftward we will find out mv of node 2 mv of node 2 and it has two different options okay if he chooses to drill 50 feet then he has the cost is 2500 drilling cost plus emv of not b 14400 okay he has one option it is uh 16900 okay if he chooses not to drill is cost 18000 at event 2 so we have to take it it is it is talking about cost so best payoff is the lesser of these two values so emv of not to will be 16900 because we are talking about cost if this was given as profit then we have taken the best i mean the maximum we are talking about cost so that's why we will try to reduce the cost and that's why we have taken the lesser one now then we will go to emv of node a what are the options 0.4 into 0 plus 0.6 into mv of not to so that is 16900 and if we do that it becomes 10140 okay mv of not a whenever there is a chance node there will be probabilities and we will multiply the payoffs with associated probabilities and add them now the last emv of node 1 again it has two options if he drills then his cost will be 10000 then the emv of not b which is 10140 so which gives us a result 20140 and if he buys from the uh, neighbor then his cost is 18000 so he will choose lesser of these two so lesser is 18000 so the optimal course of action for the person x 
is to not to drill and buy the water from the neighbor for the next five years. Okay, so this is how we choose our associated options. Is there any questions? Or should we go to next problem? Should we advance to next problem? Please give me an answer. Sir, what will be problem? Uh -huh. The answer ABC. No, a, a, what a, will a, be the answers for ABCs? That's I sub questions. Said, I said ABCs. I said, I said when whenever we started, we said that A, B, and C, these three questions are actually indicating to one answer. That is decision path. I look at the three questions. So this so the answer will be. Uh... Look at the three questions, and you will find. He is asking about the path only. So his path is he must choose not to drill and he buys water. So first question, should he drill up to 200 feet? Of course, no. Mm. If water is not struck at 200 feet, should he drill uh, 50 feet more? Then you look at which node? Number 2. EMB says 16,900. That means if he drills, if water is not struck at 200 feet, he must try for more. He must try for more 50 feet. Yes. And number C. Yes. Should he continue to buy from neighbor? Of course, he should continue to buy from his neighbor. That is the final answer. Yes. Okay. So whenever you complete the analysis, when you find out the path he must choose, then you will be able to answer all the questions. Right, sir. Okay. So we will continue on the next problem. Okay, so here there are three properties. There are three properties which to be sold. I'm writing them down. I'm writing out the problem. Okay, just listen. A client asks an real estate agent to sell three properties a b and c for him and agrees to pay him five percent commission on each cell there are three properties a b c and ask five percent commission and ask to sell these properties to the agent but there are some certain conditions the real estate agents must sell property A first. So this to be sold first. Then he must do within 60 days. So the property A should be sold first within 60 days. If and when A is sold, the agent receives 5% commission on that sale. So when the seller takes on the project, he has 60, 60 days time within the project, uh, within the project time, 60 days, he have to sell the property A first and he, when he sells, he gets the commission 5%. When the 
when A is sold, then he can either back out, he do not want to sell B or C. He just take the 5% commission and backs out. So here there are two options. Backs out and receive 5% commission. Okay. When there is another probability, uh, another another thing that either he back out or he try to sell one of the remaining two properties. So then he choose either B or he choose C to sell. Now, if he takes B, then he cannot sell C. He have to sell only B. And when B is sold, then he can sell C. If he takes C, then he cannot sell B. He have to sell C, then he have to go for B. Okay. So, if he does not succeed selling the nominated property in that period, he is not given opportunity to sell the other. Suppose he takes B and in 60 days he cannot sell B, then he cannot sell C also. So, you have to back out them. If he does sell in that period, he is given the opportunity to sell the third party, third property Hello. in the same condition. Yes. Hello. Any, any question? No. Okay. Now, the, the, uh, the given uh, diagram gives you the, summarizes the prices, selling costs and uh, probability of making a sale. So, the probability he can make the first sale, I am writing the table here so that you can easily understand. A, B, C. The prices, selling prices is 12,000, 25,000, 50,000. Selling cost is 400, 225, 450. Probability of A get sold in 60 days, 0 0.7. Probability of selling B in 60 days 0 0.6 probability of selling uh, C is 0 0.5 okay now he says uh, the, the question says drop the decision tree and sir, take, sir, take, sir. Take, selling cost the, the uh, uh, agent okay he gets 5% commission but he need to advertise he need to go several places okay that's why these are the cost associated with it so 5% of 12,000 is actually 600 in 600 he uh, incurs the cost 400 so his payoff is only 200 did you got my point? If the seller or the real, real estate agent sells A, he receives 5% commission means 5% of 12,000 which is 600. Now he pays 400. So the payoff is 200. This is the probability of sale. Okay, is the is the method clear? How we got payoff? No questions. That means I think you have understood how we are calculating. Or B and C also same method. Same method. Five percent of twenty five thousand. That means twelve hundred fifty. Is cost 225. So he gets pay of 5 uh, 2 uh, 0 1025. 
10 if he sells C, then his pay of his 5% of 50,000, 50, uh, which is uh, 2,500 2, minus 450. So that is 0, 5, 0. That is the pay option for selling A, B, and C. Now our job is to draw the um, decision tree. So we will now draw the decision tree. Give me a minute. I need to drink some water. Okay, so now we will draw the decision tree on this particular problem. So we have part our decision node one, which the first option says take A. A is a chance not which has uh, I mean this is the not numbers and this is the condition accepts A okay now here okay the camera is cut and to reconnect it again Okay, so A has two probabilities. He sells A gets two hundred profit, probability zero point seven, or does not sell A or could not sell A, whatever he gets zero so we are having profit here so we'll maximize the problem if our time ends then you will reconnect on the meeting okay i will i'll uh, restart so here decision not again if he able to sells a a decision not two okay it has three option he can take B, he can take C or he can back out. Okay. If he backs out, he gets zero. Either he takes B or takes C. He has two options. Now, if he takes B, there is chance node which has 0.6% chance sales B gets 1025 and 0.4% chance sir hmm. sir in back out shouldn't it be 200 I mean 5% of A no no that if he backs out if he backs out at two, he'll receive five percent commission. We, we will that we that we will take into account that two hundred when we analyze. But in decision tree, he does not get any okay. profit for B and C. When we fold back, then you will understand. We will take this two hundred into account. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, uh, at B, so somebody okay, asked okay, me. Sir. Somebody somebody asked me, sir, uh, what is the problem if the problem gets increases now you look the more the branches are going on it becomes complex so you, you need to keep everything on your head on b if he sells b he gets 1025 does not sell b then that is the probability 0 0.4 and he gets 0 okay if 
here also if we if you take c then there are also two probabilities i am coming rightward that is not okay okay you have to go uh, rightward always you cannot come up or down but uh, lack of my page here i am writing is th this way so you have to plan it accordingly and you take your copy when you solve it in uh, landscape format it will help now on c there are two chance which is sales c or does not sell c the probability of selling c is 0 0.5 and this also probability 0 0.5 does not sell means 0 does sell that gives you 2050 okay now if he sells c decision not and here on b after b there is again a decision not so he is here is 3 decision not 3 decision not 3 says takes c or says back out which gives 0 if you take c then there is again chance not this chance node has two output 0 0.5 does not sell which gives 0 and sells C which have probability 0 0.5 and gives 2050 okay now we come down here after C there is a decision node 4 and it has two option either it takes b okay sales b probability 0 0.6 and get 1025 on e does not sell probability 0 0.4 gets 0 okay so this is how we will draw the tree so is the trick clear to you if the tree if the tree is clear to you then we will stop today and in the next class uh, we will again start the analysis and both here is the rectangle konta konta d r e ta d r e ta rectangle hobe na karon oi dutu chance node those are not decision nodes. Decision nodes are, you see, this 1, 2, 3, 4, these are decision nodes. And D having probability is a chances. Okay. Okay, sales B probability 0 0.6 and get 1025 on E does not sell probability 0 0.4 gets 0. Okay, so this is how we will draw the tree. So, is the tree clear to you? If the, tree, if the tree is clear to you, then we will stop today and in the next class, uh, we will again start the analysis. And go for the rectangle. Konta konta? DR eta. DR eta rectangle hobe na, karno idu chance node. Those are not decision nodes. Decision nodes are, you see, this 1, 2, 3, 4, these are decision nodes. And D having probability is a chances okay